Kottakkal, a flourishing little town in the Malappuram district of Kerala. February 2002 marked the inauguration of the centenary celebrations of the Arya Vaidya Shala. It is entirely due to the Vaidya Shala that Kottakkal is now so well known all over India and in so many places abroad. The tremendous enthusiasm with which the local people participated in every event associated with the celebrations was eloquent proof of their gratitude to the institution, their pride in its achievements. All Kotakal recalls with reverence the life story of the man whose determined will and breadth of vision made all this possible. The founder of the Arya Vaidya Shala, Vaidya Ratnam P.S. Warrior. P.S. Warrior believed that the same person who created the universe created Ayurveda as well. In an article written in his magazine, Dhanvantari, 1914, he described how, once he had created human beings, the divine creator grew anxious about the dangers that might befall them and created Ayurveda to provide remedies for these dangers. According to Ayurveda, every substance found in nature can be used to maintain the health of the human being. Ayurveda is believed to be the most ancient of all the medical sciences and it has been suggested that the systems of medicine that evolved in China, Tibet and Greece have their roots in Ayurveda. The Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia compiled by Charaka dates back to the 5th century BC. Shushruta, the legendary father of surgery in India, belongs to the same period. In the past, the Vaidyamara was the first time to use the Vaidyamara. The Vaidyamara was the first time to use the Vaidyamara. The Vaidyamara was the first time Vocês <laughs> The Arya Vaidya Shala was opened in this building in 1902. It was just a small sales counter. Where the garden would indict. Ade Vedi Kurta Rogi Baran and Daki Kerchapo, Rogam Marilia. Apadem Uru Archimu Kerjamaran. Then a Marzu Wangi Salak Pudding to Kondramar. Pudi Archin Okipo. Ali Murdil Murulia, I Yogatil Murdil Murulia. A being a poyal, Vaidatinum, Vaidinum, in the Kerdana in the Bodhotor would eat the Randomudi coincide with the Tana, Adimi Savanam Savich. The 
the infinitely small seed he planted in the soil of Kotakal in 1902 has grown into a mighty, magnificent tree. The stages and the phenomenal growth of the Aryavaitya Shala over a century are now an integral part of the social and cultural history of Kerala. Panniambali Shangudni Varier was born on the 16th of March 1869 in an orthodox Varier family. All its members carried out duties in the local Shiva temple. Shangudni was an only son. He grew up in the family house situated near the temple. There were reputed Sanskrit scholars and Ayurvedic physicians in the family. Shanguni attended his first Sanskrit classes in the temple and then in the wealthy and powerful royal household of Kotaka. <laughs> Avid for knowledge, the boy then studied the basics of Vaidyam from a local teacher, Konath Achudavarya. At the age of 17, he became a disciple of Kuttanjeri Vasudevan Mus, an accomplished Vaidyan and an excellent teacher. Dhanvantari, the god of healing, was the presiding deity in the temple in his teacher's compound. A strict and exacting guru, Vasudevan Mus had a special affection for his youngest disciple, Shanguni. Satatanu Shaktan Yepolum Turno Wundrikinoim Ashesha Kaya Prasadan Ella Shadir and Lilum Rai Shadirat in the Lab Hagan Lilum Manasilum Shadiratilum Vyavichikinoim Aosukya Moha Shankuni returned home after five years and began to practice Vaidya. He was filled with the desire to process his own medicines. He went to Manjeri to consult Dr. Verghese about an eye ailment which troubled him. Dr. Verghese liked the young man who showed a keen interest in Western medicine. Varya spent the next three years with this brilliant doctor who taught him everything he knew about the system of allopathy, including simple surgical procedures. <laughs> The Patashala was started in Calicut in 1917. In 1924, when he built a charitable hospital in Kotakal to dispense free treatment, it was shifted to Kotakal. It later became a recognized college of Ayurveda and now offers a degree in Ayurveda. 
now learned that it is identical with fire pitam vagni vagni jamba either it is identical with fire or it is generated from fire that's പ്രാചീന വിജ്ഞാനത്തിൻ്റെ പുനരുദ്ധാരണമെന്നത് അത് വിജ്ഞാനത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു സോഷ്യലൈസേഷൻ സമൂഹവൽക്കരണത്തിലൂടെയാണ് നടക്കുക എന്ന് പി എസ് വൈദർക്ക് നന്നായിട്ട് അറിയാമായിരുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് ആയുർവേദത്തെ പുനരുദ്ധാനം ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് അദ്ദേഹം ശ്രമങ്ങൾ ആരംഭിച്ച് ആയുർവേദിശാല സ്ഥാപിച്ചപ്പോൾ പ്രധാന ഉപാധിയായിട്ട് അദ്ദേഹം സ്വീകരിച്ചത് പ്രസിദ്ധീകരണങ്ങളെയാണ് പഴയ ആയുർവേദ വിജ്ഞാനത്തെ സാധാരണ ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാകത്തക്ക രീതിയിൽ ലളിതമായ ഭാഷയിൽ ജന സമൂഹത്തിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കുക എന്നതായിരുന്നു അദ്ദേഹം ചെയ്തത് ഈ വിജ്ഞാനത്തെ മൂടിയിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു തരം നിഗൂഢവൽക്കരണമുണ്ട് അതില്ലാതെയാക്കി അതിനെ സുതാര്യമാക്കുക അണ്ട് ആദ്യം അദ്ദേഹം ചെയ്തത് ഇതുവരെ ആയുർവേദത്തിൽ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ മരുന്നുകൾ ചേരുവകൾ അതിൻ്റെ ഡോസേജ് ഇതെല്ലാം പരസ്യമാക്കിക്കൊണ്ടുള്ള സാധാരണ ഒരു വൈദ്യം ചെയ്യാത്ത കാര്യമാണത് പരസ്യമാക്കിക്കൊണ്ടുള്ള ഒരു കാറ്റ്ലോഗ് പ്രസിദ്ധീകരിക്കുകയാണ് അത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് ധന്വന്തരി എന്ന മാസികയിലൂടെ ഏതാണ്ട് ഇരുപത്തി മൂന്ന് വർഷത്തോളം കേരളത്തിലെ ആയുർവേദ സമൂഹവുമായിട്ട് നിരന്തരം സമ്പർക്കത്തിൽ ഏർപ്പെടുകയും പ്രാചീന വിദ്യ പ്രാചീന ആയുർവേദ വിജ്ഞാനം മുഴുവൻ സമൂഹത്തിലേക്ക് തുറന്നു കൊടുക്കുകയുമായിരുന്നു which was published in 1907 reprinted many times and translated into many languages Warriors Ashtanga Shariram a textbook of anatomy and physiology in Sanskrit was published in 1925 Warrior formed a drama troupe called the Parama Shiva Vilasam Nataka Company in 1909 Many of his workers who were talented in music joined the troupe The first production was Sangeetha Shakuntalam, a Malayalam adaptation of Kalidasa's play. He wrote 28 plays in all, some of which were original and some adaptations. He designed elaborate props and sets and supervised the productions himself, somehow finding time to do all this in spite of the growing demands the Vaidyashala made on him. The manuscripts of the plays have been carefully preserved and are in the library now. As interest in theater began to wane with the advent of cinema, Warrya converted his drama troupe in 1939 to a Kathakali troupe. The PSV Natya Sangham is one of the best Kathakali troupes in Kerala now. It trains young artists and some very fine teachers have been associated with it. The Arya Vaidyashala gradually became very well known. Gandhiji sent Jayaprakash Narayan to Kotakal for a course of treatment. Deeply religious himself, he had great respect for other religions. The symbols of the Hindu, Muslim and Christian faiths are drawn on the main gate to the house he built for the family. During the Mapla rebellion of 1921, he gave shelter to Muslim and Hindu families alike. ഇപ്പൊ 
ഓരോ പ്രവേശ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടി ഉച്ചക്കെ ഉണ്ടാക്കും അപ്പൊ വൈകാരത്തിൽ വന്ന് വന്നിട്ട് പിന്നെ അമ്മാനും അവിടെ കിടക്കണ്ട് Wariya's own marital life was very short. His wife died in 1907 after the birth of a stillborn child. The senior most member of the family, Shri Devi Varasyar, Piyaz Wariya's niece, now 87 years old, remembers her uncle well and recalls how he used to throw sweets to the children through his window. Piyaz Wariya loved children and was very indulgent to them. Raghava Warrior recalls the childish pranks he and his companions used to play to tease their great uncle. Kailasa Mandiram, the magnificent four-storied house that Warrior built for the family was completed in 1928. Based on the traditional Nalukatta design of Kerala, he made many modern variations, particularly in letting light and air pour into the house through the numerous windows. Before the formal Griha Pravesham ceremony, writers and poets were invited to a meeting of the All Kerala Sahitya Parishad in the house. This was organized by Warrior's cousin P. V. Krishna Warrior, himself a poet and the editor of a well-known poetry magazine called the Kavana Kaumudi. It gave Warrior great pleasure to have such a vast literary gathering under his roof and to know that Christians, Muslims and Hindus had met there as members of a common community. Warrior's own suite on the first floor of Kailasa Mandiram is lavishly furnished with elegant rosewood furniture ordered from Spencer and Company in Madras. Belgian mirrors hang on the walls. All his personal effects are preserved in these rooms and will form the nucleus of the proposed museum. Warrior spent a great deal of time in these rooms composing devotional poems and songs for his plays and writing articles and textbooks on Ayurveda. He often taught his students here as well. The Silver Jubilee of the Arya Vaidyashala was celebrated in October 1927 on a splendid scale. Felicitations and gifts poured in on the occasion of his 60th birthday in 1929. On this occasion, he paid all his workers a bonus, something that had never been heard of in Kerala, and made liberal donations to the Shiva Temple and to the oldest mosque in Kottakkal. In 1932, he built a beautiful little temple in the courtyard of his house. The deity is Vishwambara and from the day it was built it was open to all castes. The Temple Entry Act giving all castes the right to enter temples was passed by the Maharaja of Tramanko only in 1937. In 1933 Warrior was awarded the title Vaidyaratna by the Viceroy of India. in recognition of the remarkable services he had rendered the cause of ayurveda ee 
ഈ സ്ഥാപനം എന്നെന്നും നിലനിൽക്കണമെങ്കിൽ ഇതൊരു ഒരു ഒരു കുടുംബത്തിൻ്റെ ആയിട്ട് മാറിയാലും ശരിയാവില്ല അവിടെ തമ്മിൽ തച്ചിട്ട് എന്തെങ്കിലുമൊക്കെ ആയിട്ട് തകരാറായിട്ട് പോകും അത് പാടില്ല എന്നുള്ള ഉദ്ദേശത്തോട് കൂടിയിട്ട് അദ്ദേഹം ഇതൊരു ട്രസ്റ്റ് ആക്കിയിട്ട് വെച്ചു Warriors will was registered in 1939. The family members were entitled to a share of the profits only for 20 years. After that, all the profits were to be entirely used for charitable purposes and for the development of Ayurveda. Bakkilla pravartanangalkum 10 shatamanathil adhiyarikkatha sanda college nu kodukkanaanu vechittle. Baaki 40 shatamanam rendu thaavadi adhiyathinte rendu penganmar undayirunnu. Avare thaavadikku ഇരുപത് കൊല്ലക്കാലം കൊടുക്കാനായിട്ടാണ് വ്യവസായത്തിൽ ഈ ഇരുപത് കൊല്ലക്കാലം കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആ നാൽപ്പത് ശതമാനം ആയുർവേദ്യശാലയ്ക്കോ ആയുർവേദ്യ ധർമ്മാസ്പത്രിക്കോ ട്രസ്റ്റ് പാറയുടെ യുക്തം പോലെ ആവശ്യത്തിനനുസരിച്ച് ഉപയോഗിപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് From its inception, the hospital has always dispensed both Ayurvedic and Western medicines and doctors trained in modern medicine are available for consultation. A doctor trained in allopathic medicine has always been in charge of this hospital from the time it was started. Factory at Kotakal manufactures lehiums, oils, kashayams and tablets. The research and development department ensures that mechanization does not jeopardize quality in any way. factory was set up in Kanjikode in the Palakkad district in 1987 to meet the growing demand for medicines. Asavams and Arishtams are the main products manufactured here. Our industry's founder Vaidratnam Pejaswariar recognized the importance of research and uh, one of the main objectives of AVS as stipulated by him in his reputed will is to conduct timely research to make ayurveda more and more useful to more and more people in this light avs has been engaged in various kinds of research activities for the past several decades and those research programs were mainly in three areas they are clinical related activities medicinal plant related activities and product and process related activities Varya had always realized the importance of cultivating and conserving medicinal plants due to urbanization and consequent change in our lifestyle our contact with the nature is cut off and this has led to loss of traditional knowledge about plants and their medicinal potential it is in this context that ayurveda chala decided to establish a garden of medicinal plants two decades ago The main purpose is to create an awareness among the public about our medicinal plant resource base and the need for conserving the local flora. For this purpose since its inception in 1982 we have tried to bring as many medicinal plants as possible under one roof so that it serves as a center of learning and reference to students researchers and others interested in the area along with the live collection we are also building up a herbarium a collection of dried specimens and a museum of medicinal plant parts with all necessary informations which serve the purpose of a library for future reference the aryavaidya shala upholds the ancient principles of ayurveda modifying them when necessary treatment at kotakal is a ritual an act of faith the patient places a dakshina a 1 rupee coin on a betel leaf before a lighted lamp this coin goes into the hundi of the famous temple of nelluvaya dedicated to dhanvantari the god of healing
New branches were opened in Kolkata, Kottayam and Sikandarabad in recent years. Our reach, uh, we want to spread. Of course, we have a hospital in, in Delhi, two hospitals here. We are planning to have another hospital in Calcutta very soon. Our next program will be to have another ho treatment center in, in, in Bombay and probably later on in, in Bangalore. Dr. P.K. Warrior and the Board of Trustees are always on the lookout for improvements and developments. At this meeting, Dr. Warrior, the managing trustee, discusses the opening of a bigger establishment in Kolkata to meet the growing needs of the eastern sector. Proposals keep pouring in for joint research projects. The managing trustee discusses new offers with the advisor AKK Nambiar and the general manager AR Shankaranarayanan. Varya maintained a regular diary from 1927 to 1944, meticulously recording in it a vast variety of detail from world news to the bullion price of the day. He also perfected a mail order system through which his patients could consult him and obtain medicines regularly. The last entry in the diary is dated 29th January 1944. Warrior passed away on the morning of the 30th of January. It marked the end of an era. His ashes rest in a niche in a carefully tended garden in front of his house. His indomitable spirit still permeates the very air of Kotakal. A perfectionist in everything he did, he had always dared the impossible and achieved it.